Yeah, good for everyone in that dressing room. Yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah, good to mate. Yeah. Yeah, as I said before, the uh, the season started that the the the, um, the league, the teams won't scare us, but we know we have to be really good to compete. Uh, yeah, uh, close to bringing on three points. Then it looked like one, and then obviously it's none, and that's how cruel that uh, the game can be. But uh, you've got to expect that that can happen against these teams, you know. Andrew just won manager a month, Madison won player a month. They're in a real good place, and you could see how they celebrated, how close we'd taken to the way and how hard we made them work. And we had to do that. We accepted that we'd have to give up certain things. But the majority of the time that worked and, the, and their efforts were from outside the box. Although Wes played excellently well until the goals, especially second half, their, their efforts are from outside the box, which is what we would have taken. In the end, the goals came and added on time. And you have to play the perfect game. Mm. Home, yeah, we, we, listen, the goals, I know we'll look to we'll deal with that, but I think fatigue, we'd obviously made a lot of changes then, but, but fatigue and... and uh, the things you've got to defend. The Spurs aren't going to let us win the game. They're not going to let us take a point. They're going to fight until the death. Um, and yeah, and a couple of lapses in in um, concentration. And that's what it was when you look at them. Um, um, yeah, but that, that's listen. Angel says team's gone to the death, and they have, and they've done great. Fair play to them. They never stopped, and they've ended up taking the points. Yeah, exactly that. Exactly that. The fourth goal in late on in games so far this season is that a concern, or is that more about? No, that's how tough. Yeah, exactly. That that'll be the same. If we're going to perform really well, especially if we we're in games or in front, the dynamic changes. You know, whether the same last season, if we were chasing and we were the team on top, you take more chances, more efforts, and yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. We have to. We have to accept that's going to be the way. Um, but at the same time, we have to keep improving because then we can get more controlling games. We can get two in front. We can manage the game out. We can see the game out with possession. Today, we couldn't do it. You lost your 36 goals and assists with Fergie and Nine. The question was, how do you feel that void? But you've got those threats going forward, which we saw today. You know, you had to take your moments to get up the pitch. And you did that. And you created some really good moments. Yeah. And again, we, we need to keep improving that though as well. We've got we've got players who are brand new together. Uh, yeah, so listen, the the result doesn't change the performance. It would have been a great uh, vindication, if you like, for the players and staff this week. There's been a lot of good work gone off. Um, real good work, and like I said, the, the result doesn't change the performance. That's all still there. What we did to prepare for the game, what we did in the game. Uh, we've, we've got extra uh, minutes into some players who need it. Like I said, all the signings that we did late, we've had a couple more debuts, Austin minutes on the pitch and Tom, Luke with his first start. So all these players came in uh, in the summer and someone late and they need minutes and they're going to improve as well. So while we've been improving performances, we've been trying to improve the dynamic of the group. You'll know the bench was a lot stronger today, which is great. So, yeah, all those things don't change. I would have just liked the points for the players to go on with. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me though. I think you all know what I think of him as a as a player, and obviously our window was a bit bit chaotic. And the moment we thought we could get him, when things changed financially, and uh, we just went straight after it and tried to get that done. And I'm still surprised, still delighted that, that we managed to get him. So, yeah, from my point of view, is um, yeah, I think he's a good lad, good player. Um, this is his level, you know. Um, and I want him to go and show it. Just a couple more. Um, no Egan today. As good captain, knowing that he wasn't 
No, because he's also a proud Irishman as well. You know, he can't, I can't be saying, and I would never, I never had that opportunity. I would have loved to have played for England. I wasn't good enough, you know. I, um, I think that there is a. It, it, it would have been down to John, and but we we can't stop anyone. I wouldn't want to stop anyone. Um, we could see Anel did the, the the same thing, but Anel's got a. John wants to play in every game, you know. He put himself forward, wants to play in every game. He did today, but I knew he wasn't right, so I wouldn't play him. Um, Anel had a similar moment, but Anel's experience the last time he went away with with Bosnia didn't get looked after properly, and it, and it put him out. Um, yeah, so nothing we could do. It's an international break. They take precedent. The way it goes. Captain, yeah, wanted to be here. Yeah, he wanted to be here. Yeah. Uh, listen, if, if we could have used him again, I, and I had the intention of it, if possible, I would have put him. So I'm looking at that game today. Uh, where one up, 75th minute. Um, Jaden goes down. You, you bring him on to defend the box because he wouldn't have been exposed as much with the running and the channels. We knew before that, and, and it was proved right that with an L down the middle against Son and then Richardson later, there's going to be a lot of sprinting involved, a lot of mobility needed. Um, so it wouldn't have been right. As it turned out, we were in front, bringing him on 75, 80 minutes. Yeah, if it had been fit enough, but yeah, you, you can't. Two things. I wouldn't take the risk to uh, uh, to John. I want him fit. Do you know what I mean? If it's going to get worse. And, and the, other, the other way, I wouldn't take the risk to compromise the rest of the players by playing someone who I'm not sure is fit. Yeah, how long you got? <laughs> Listen, the, it's not funny. The referees just are killing the game at the minute, ruining it, absolutely ruining it. I've got no qualms over the result, and you could see me from nil nil. I'm doing because he's telling our keeper to hurry up. So we split to play out. Just look at all the goal kick. We split to play out. So we play to and now we play to bash. We play forward. So then we do it again. Get out a couple of times. So what Spurs are going to do? They're going to change. So they put the ball down. Spurs change. So Wes has to make a different decision. And he's getting told to play. Well, no, you, you. why would you play then? Spurs have adapted to us, so then we have to change again and play something different. Then when he handles outside the box, he's booked. And you've got Peter, no problem with Peter. Him and uh, David, good guys. But the referee's just showing how little they know about the game and they're directing it. So how can how can that be possible? So I go and show them at half-time. I want to show them, but I know they can't see it. So we're not... Taking long and goal kick. From the moment it's down, they're taken within 10 seconds, right? From the moment it's down. But what happens is, like, because we're getting out and playing to Ollie and keeping the box, Spurs change what they do. So Wes has a different decision to make, but he can't make his decision until Spurs have moved. Does this, does this make sense? And the referees haven't got a clue, they don't know what I'm saying. The answer back to me was, well, kick long then. So <laughs> we work all week on how we want to play, and the refs are dictated to us how we play the game. Can't happen, but it's happening. Understand the game that the, the, they've got obsessed with this time wasting with these yellow cards for this and this and this. They came over and warned about multi ball four times. You're meant to get rid of it if you're not happy with it. You just kept coming over. Guess what happens then? Slows the game down again. Haven't got a clue what they're doing. Haven't. Not, not a clue. And they're ruining the game. They are absolutely ruining it. How can VAR look at two? Well, centre back jumps into Wes, turns his back, leads with his elbow, Wes gets stitches. And that's deemed a yellow card. Ollie McBurney goes to the referee and says he's pulling my shirt. Not swearing. He goes to the referee. This, this is actually, I'll see it. He's pulling my shirt. He gets booked. Deemed the same offence. We've got a player missing now. Uh, they just do not know what they're doing. And it's nothing to do with the result. Like I said, I was doing it from nil-nil. I speak to them all the time. Went to see him at half-time. I was doing it when we won nil up. Everyone can see it. Both sets of players are frustrated. Both sets of staff are frustrated. All the fans are frustrated. Why? Because the people who are directing our game haven't got a clue about our game. They don't know football. Do not know it. So just to be clear, is that complaint based largely on today or the season so far? Well, that's cookie. It's been all the time I've been a manager. don't know what they're doing. But the, but what, how it's getting portrayed now and the evidence, so it's all about now managing the game, yellow cards. Cameron Archer catches the ball first half, you all saw it. You all saw him come, then he catches the ball because he's deemed offside, it bounces, he grabs the ball. And he's sent a ref, I'm not offside, does that, he gets the yellow card. The ball's like literally landed in his... Because it makes time waste. He's not, just understand what you're actually doing in the game. Like, it's, it's crazy, crazy. But at the minute, 
yeah, it's uh, really foolish because how we, we we take VAR away for obviously it's back to the referees. I get so fine. If VAR is going to be um, only used if the ref makes a glaring error, I've got no problem with that. But then the, the referees need to be really consistent in their decisions. We've all seen it in every game, what's been given as handball in the box, what's not. And it's different game on game. Where people working to get a result, working with players, coaching a player, and I couldn't tell you what a penalty is. We, I, I couldn't look at an instance and, and say that that's a penalty, whether it's handball, whether it's a trip in the box. Haven't got a clue. Haven't. And how can that be right? Uh, and, and we're not doing enough about it. They listen, but they've got to understand it. And for, and for me to be told at half time when we had like, we'll play long then, what, what is going off? So are they going to dictate how Sheffield United play then now? Do you know what I mean? Now you can't play out from the back because you've got to think about that. Um, yeah, so it, it's not, it, it, me bugbears all the time and I get, yeah, foolish. The, the the ball boys or the lads on the cell multiple literally laughing at the referee they're taking the mickey out of him do you know what I mean bonkers absolutely bonkers the young left back Thomas must be making a big impression you know you had him marking soft yeah. set pieces yeah. he must be delighted yeah I was, I was concerned with that though so I'm not going to lie <laughs> uh, he stuck to his car so when listen Luke, Luke's shown um, what's, what's his show? how could I put he's shown it won a tremendous appetite to come to us, which is good. Um, and also an appetite to learn and be pushed, like, do you know what I mean? He, yeah, so, yeah, the, he can be really pleased with his debut today. Does anybody need anything from Mondays? Could I, can I just ask for Mondays? Paul, it, it, it's easy to sort of nitpick on, you know, defensive errors and that sort of thing when you're winning. Do you have to tread a bit more carefully with them uh, when you dissect? <sighs> no. It's a reminder about why we do things, but I think what you can't do is not ignore, like you said, the first 98 minutes where things are right, but that's why we bang on about it all the time. It's not me saying something new then, it's this is the reason why I'm going to go mad about marking in front, why I'm going to go mad about tracking runners, why I'm going to go mad about getting beat with a 1-2, because we're playing against players who are very, very good. Um, yeah. So... No, uh, there's two things going off. I'm good. If we'd have got the result, you'd have been saying how well we played, blah, blah, blah. I mean, reflection on the game would still be the same. Would still be the same. So that's going off. That won't change. But at the same time, we're trying to improve. We've still got players who aren't there yet. They're not there yet. Uh, and, and we have to keep working. I just wish, like I said, for everyone, I would have loved a reward for everyone for the work and the last two. Everyone, the staff, the players, be good. But, um, yeah, that, that's a reminder of how tough this league is. You come to a place like this against these players, it's going to be hard. I don't know. I don't know. Listen, everyone's got a different market. Everyone's got. Yeah, I'm an interest. I'm just glad no one picked him up. Um, yeah, there's he's someone I think you all know. He's someone I've watched for a long time. I could I could imagine working with him. Yeah, but uh, but someone who's spending the money's got to think that, haven't they? As well, yeah. yeah. Point of seeing after. I know, I know how little they know about football, but I didn't. Like I said, it's not. I'm not moaning about decisions. I've got the man, game management, understanding the game. Appalling, appalling. I, that's what I told him after the game. Absolutely appalling. Um, and I think you probably. I, I bet Spurs would say the same. Like, it's, yeah, I just care. Yeah. Will I? But it, it is though, it's not me, listen, it's, it's my opinion, everyone might disagree, but I, I get concerned where the game's going. Do you know what I mean? I like, it's not me moaning about Sheffield United, it's me moaning about football. I watch it all the time. I'm watching all, all the games I'm, and what tears me, where I tear my hair out is I don't know what decisions are being given. How can I go and make this player better when he's defending a buck when I don't know to tell him how to defend for a penalty? You know, does this make sense? Game, game management. Well, we, we've worked really hard and now we're up to play. And you know what? Working really well. We have to kick long. We have to kick long. 
and we end up shouting on towards the end. Robbo is still looking to split to play, and we're panicking, thinking we've seen Peter wave Wes all the time. I think he's going to book him, he's going to book him. And we have to make sure then Robbo's sprinting up. So it wouldn't be Wes's fault. Wes can't take the kick till Robbo's up. And he is threatening to book our goalkeeper because one of our players who's just made a sliding tackle in the bottom corner can't sprint 50 yards. And they don't know what they're doing because they don't understand the game. That would have been sending off. Though. It was sending off. But he got someone anyway, didn't he? He got Ollie for telling him that someone pulled his shirt. You know what I mean? He's bonkers. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep improving. We'll keep improving. Uh, he, he did his knee and his ankle. It's his knee that's sore at the minute. So he did in the last game against Everton. That's why he got brought off. Thanks, guys. Thanks, all. Thank you. Thanks,